Google quiz that you want to put in a Canvas course, then you have a couple of options. One, um, you could click on your gear, first of all, and make sure you're collecting the student email addresses so you know who took it. The other thing that you want to do is um, click send and you can copy the link or you could copy the embed code. It just kind of depends on how you want to do it. Um, that being said, I do, I do want to make sure to kind of just touch on the fact that a Google quiz is not a secure testing environment. Um, one, if you've already pre-assigned correct answers, students can uh, look at the source code on the website and tell which answer is right or wrong. So Google quizzes are the, probably the least secure form of assessment that you can give in a browser. Um, I think Google Forms or Google quizzes are great for immediate feedback, but I feel like those scores shouldn't actually count for grades because when they do, then students tend to be tempted to be academically dishonest. So um, if you do want to use a Google quiz, I suggest that you use it more of a formative assessment just to let students know how they're doing and be able to get immediate feedback. And if you're going to do that, then you'll click on send, you'll click the link, and you'll copy the link. And then what you can do in your course is you can link it in a couple places. One, if you're using a weekly agenda page, you could go to your page, edit it, and put your link inside. So if I wanted students maybe um, on Tuesday to fill out a quiz, the quiz, I would just link it here. So I could say take this Google quiz on linear equations just to get some feedback on how you're doing. And then what you do is you select your text, okay, and you can click the link and add it, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command K on a Mac, and then you can paste in your link, and you can have it open in a new window so they don't leave the Canvas environment and say okay. And so that, that quiz is now linked there under Tuesday, and then I can hit save, and now what will happen when my student goes to this week in Canvas, they're gonna see that quiz there. When they click on the quiz, the quiz is just gonna open and the student can fill it out and answer the questions. But again, this is only gonna give them like immediate feedback and it's not gonna grade it or go in the gradebook anywhere within Canvas to do it that way. The other thing you could do is go to modules and instead of add, adding it to a week, what you could do is add it into a unit um, and hit the, you know, just hit the plus sign. And instead of an assignment, you would choose external URL. You could paste it in give it a page name. Uh, and then add that item, right? And so then that's going to show up. I do want to make sure that I publish it. So that's just another way that you could do that. So now if I'm the student from my home page, I can click on modules in the course navigation or my modules button and then come down here and do my linear equations warm up. And then that's going to open inside of Canvas when you add it that way. So there's just a couple different ways. But again, this is not in there as an assignment. If you did want it to show up for students in their to-do list on their dashboard as something that they need to do, then you need to make it an assignment. And for this, you would come in, add an assignment, you would give it a name, and then what we could do instead is inside of this box we could just embed the quiz. And if I were going to do it that way, I would go to my Google form and instead of getting my link, and again from here, from the form, you click on send, you could get this embed code right here you can copy that or hit your copy button, go back to your Canvas course, and in your assignment box where you would normally put instructions, you could put complete this quiz to get feedback on how well you are understanding slope. And then you click your HTML editor, 
paste in that code, go back to your rich content editor, and then you'll see that quiz showing up right there. If you wanted to give this points, you could. You could simply say zero points. You can also um, display the grade as just complete or incomplete, or you could just say it's not graded. Now, if you do say it's not graded, then you don't get a, you could still, if you say it's not graded, then it's not going to go in the grade book, but you can still give it a due date. So you could still make this due on a certain date, and you can give it a time, and then save and publish. And now that assignment is going to show up, um, that quiz will show up inside that assignment. So if I go to my module, I could add... the assignment linear equation quiz and add that item, right? And so now I've got it in here two ways. One way is just adding it as a link and the other way is putting it as an assignment. So um, I wanna show you from the student view, if I go to my home page, since it was added as an assignment, it shows up in my to-do list because I can give it a to-do, uh, a due date, okay? If I go to my um, this week, well, that's where I put the link earlier. If I go to my modules, I can see it in here. Or from my home page of your course, I can see it's in my to-do list, and I can click it, and then that assignment will open, and I can fill it out. Okay. Now, I do want to tell you, if you are using a weekly agenda, and you're having students like click and go to your weekly agenda, if, if you wanted it to be an assignment, then what you could do is delete this guy. I'm going to break the link here. You could click on your Google Quiz Linear Equations words in your text. You can click on the assignment over here. There's that linear equation quiz and just click it and now it's going to link right into my weekly agenda page. So that's a way to link your assignment just right into your agenda. So for the students glance, if I click on home, I can go here to do that quiz. Or if I go into this week, now I can click on Tuesday, take that same quiz, and it's going to open up as an assignment for me to do. As the teacher, if I wanted to see the student results, I would have to open the quiz myself, go in and see the results that way. Um, but again, my advice would be to use Google Quizzes as more of a formative assessment, a way to do like a quick warm-up, a quick check for understanding. You could have students do this and then come into your Zoom session and talk and maybe ask questions about the ones that they missed. So it can be used more to inform them of their own understanding than it would be to give them a grade.